Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the touchpad from HP. It's their new tablet. This episode, we're going to talk about some of the accessories that you can get for the HP touchpad. Now, one of the keys to a successful launch for a product like the touchpad is that it doesn't exist in a vacuum. Now, we've got apps available for it, which we talked about in another episode, but we also have accessories so we can protect it and then connect it to other devices. Now, the first of these that we're going to talk about is the HP Touchstone Charging Dock. Now, what it is is a little stand, but unlike just a stand that you can use to actually position it in a bunch of different ways for typing or watching movies, this one also has Touchstone technology in it. Now, the HP Touchpad and the pre before it actually had something called Touchstone, which is magnetic induction that allows you to charge the device just by putting it on a surface like this Touchstone Dock. When you put it on, it automatically starts to charge without need for wires. Now, as I mentioned, it can actually be adjusted to different angles for uh, typing and or watching movies. The other nice thing about it is that it actually sends a little bit of data back and forth, so the touchpad knows which dock it's on. So in other words, if you have different docks in different locations, you can set up your exhibition mode to display different things depending on which dock it's sitting on. The touchstone charging dock is $80, and you can get it wherever you get the touchpad. Next up, we have the Bluetooth keyboard. Now, sometimes you want to be able to type faster than you can using the on-screen keyboard, and that's why there's generally external keyboards available for tablets. This one, directly from HP, has all the keys you expect, plus a couple of touchpad-specific keys, like one to control the dock. The keyboard runs on two AA batteries, and it costs about $70. One other thing you want when you get a tablet is some sort of protective case. Now, the back can get scratched up, and the screen can get damaged if you're just putting it in with a bunch of other things without any sorts of protection. And there is a case here available from HP for the touchpad. It has a microfiber cloth on the inside to protect the screen and help clean it a little bit. It also has a tab right here on the back, so you can flip the front panel around and loop it in with this little tab here and actually create a little stand out of the case. Again, this can be positioned in two different ways, one for standing up and watching movies, and another one for laying down and typing on it. One nice bonus is that even when you have the touchpad case on it, you can still put it on the touchstone charging dock and it will charge right through the case. Now, of course, one of the most fully featured accessories that's available for the touchpad is one of the WebOS smartphones from uh, HP, like the Pre-3. Now, this one you can actually use to connect to it to uh, share phone calls back and forth from one to the other, or you can actually use it to share URLs using the Touch to Share feature. Now, it's a little bit more expensive, and availability depends on your area and your carrier availability. So you want to check that just to be sure how much it's going to cost and whether you can even get it. Let's look at some of the accessories available for the HP touchpad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series for other ways that you can use the touchpad. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.